Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the River Sticks map. This is a pretty fun map, I would have to say. But it is a pretty old map. It, the color scheme is pretty old. The palette, or the palais, I, I don't know how to say that. It's also pretty old. Although at least the forests give the resistance an upper hand on this map. At least for scouting. So that's fine. We lost this flag from the get-go and we also lost that. But since we do have the coyote already right here, we can recapture the flag. The coyote is still going to get wrecked. But we will send more reinforcements to this flag, capture it. And uh, let's scout with this coyote. Uh, level 3 HQ, uh, level 2 Avia Factory, level 2 Factory, how many supply centers, that looks like it's 8, yeah it looks like 8 supply centers, all running on 3 power plants, interesting. Okay, looks like the Vertex is attacking. I'm going to go for HQ level 4 because uh, my enemy is also going for HQ 4. I hit a Coyote right behind the airfield, so the enemy won't know right from the start. But eventually the, the enemy should know, and it looks like right from here that's when the enemy decides to attack. And so I send my Coyote to scout the entire base, and looks like it's pretty normal. It looks like a normal confeds base at minute 6 in the Star League. So let's fast forward. I've once again lost all the flags. Like the epic pro gamer I am. Alright, making more porcupines and I'm stationing them near my anti-air towers just to give a little bit of a boost. And it looks like they're going for my supply center. And so I have my Hawks intercept them, dealing some good damage. They keep coming back. That's not a good move. The amount of Vertex that are losing is too much. They lost like four whole Vertex for one supply center. It's not even a good investment. This one supply center itself makes... What, like 50 or 70 resources a minute? To rebuild this supply center, it only takes 20-25 seconds, and it costs 300 resources. So in reality, I only lost like 400 resources worth. Meanwhile, the enemy lost 4 times 300, which is 1,200. So they lost 3 times more resources than I in that battle. Not a good match for my enemy. Let's recapture it and send the guy right back into the forest. Do the same right here. Go back, go back. Or just stay. I mean, <laughs> this guy might just like the flag quite a bit. I'm going to upgrade to a level 3 prototype factory. I did just snipe down a rocket tower because I could. Uh, I, uh, re I go back in because I did see a scout somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. I did see a scout over here. And sniping down a scout is pretty fun, as long as you don't get sniped. I send in one hawk just to scout the base. I know it's going to get destroyed anyways. But yeah, level 3 special vehicle factory. So definitely going to be some shields we're going to have to take care of. Two level 2 avia factories. But only one airfield so far. There might be more airfields because they are expanding the base. And there's obviously two assault vehicle factories, both level 3. So a pretty much of a mixed combo. Half air, half ground. Which seems legit, but I'm going on an all air strategy with a couple anti-air units.
I'm probably gonna go back in with my hops. It's not boosted. Although, dang, that was a pretty good interception. The anti-air is really wrecking havoc, so I have to fall back for now. Although, I'm gonna come right back. Losing too many hawks, so we gotta we gotta dock. I think I do have the bigger base than the enemy. So because of that, we do have a slight advantage. Although, eh, we still don't have this flag under our control. We need that flag, but maybe we can pull off an attack. While my Leviathan is up here distracting the Vertex, I can send in my Hawks to snipe the Vertex and my Dragonflies for an assault. So it's a three-way attack using fighters, uh, attack helicopters, and my air fortress. There's too many vertex, so I decide to snipe the airfields. There's honestly, there's only the special vehicle factories, the airfields, and the uh, air defense that used to be here. That really opposed my strategy. The Zeus tanks weren't ever uh, a hardship to deal with. Because I'm all air. And here's the Leviathan, right there. Attacking at max range, plus the nuclear missile. I mean, this is a really tanky HQ level 4, oh no, le HQ level 5. So HQ level 5 is obviously the highest armor and HP anything in the game. It's the most tanky thing. It can survive like two nuclear blasts. From not from the Le Leviathan, but from like an actual nu nuclear uh, launcher. Okay, so we've crippled the enemy and we are just strolling along. We have lost the Leviathan because there were a few Straddler uh, Typhoons and there was some Zeus tanks that if the enemy really wanted to could just move it up. We've crippled the enemy for a little bit so we're gonna have to rebuild our army get back. Looks like they're preparing for a full attack but they're retreating for now. Even though it's a retreat, it's too late. I have maximum aerial superiority, so there's really nothing they can do. So let's fast forward. I do have the mole here. And I'm just bringing another leviathan and I am just wreaking havoc. And so, this should be a good game.